Okay, in this problem we want to use Scratch to draw the shapes and figure out the area and label the missing measurements and show your work. So we're going to look at one solution first and compare it to the second solution. So the first thing we notice is that we've got some horizontal measurements here, 4, 8, and 16. And then we've got some vertical measurements, 26 and 6. And so that's a vertical measurement that we have to figure out. And so if that's a blank, then we do blank plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 20. And subtracting 12 from both sides of the equation, we get blank is equal to 8. So we know that's 8. And then um, for the horizontals, we have 4 plus 8 plus blank is equal to 16. And so if we subtract 12 from both sides of the equation, then we, then we get blank is equal to 4. And so we can put 4 there. And then we can cut the thing up into three pieces like this and see that the top rectangle will be 4 times 8. Um, the next one will have a 4 times 6 and an 8 times 6. And then for the bottom one, we get 16 times 6. And so if we want to add all those up, we can see that the area is 4 times 8 plus 4 times 6 plus 8 times 6 plus 16 times 6. And then to add all of that up, let's see, we get 4 times 8 is 32, 4 times 6 is 24, 8 times 6 is 48, and 16 times 6 is 96. So if I want to add these vertically, then I get 190 meters squared. Now let's try doing the problem in a different way. Um, again, I found those, those measurements to be 8 and 4. I'm using that from the previous way. But this time I'm going to make a big rectangle. And I'm going to take the big rectangle and subtract off these two little rectangles. So the smaller one is a 6 times 4, and the bigger one is a 12 times 8. And the whole big rectangle is 16 times 20, which is 30, 320. Uh, 6 times 4 is 24, and 12 times 8 is 48. So I get the area is equal to 320 minus 48 minus 24 which is 272 minus 24, which is 248. Now we can go back and compare that with what we had last time. So we saw before we got 190, and this time we got uh, 248. So those can't both be right. So we made a mistake in at least one of them. Let's see if we can figure out where those mistakes are. So. Let's take the second one and go back here. And let's see, let's replay this. So 6 times 4, that looks good. 12 times 8, uh, that looks good. The whole thing is 16 times 20, which is 320. And then 6 times 4 is 24. And 12 times 8 is not 48. OK, so that's where our mistake is. So we can fix this now. So 12 times 8 is actually going to be 96. Is that right? And then, so now if I keep playing here, my area is 320 minus 48 minus 24. OK, so it's not the 48 here. This needs to be a 96. And so if I keep playing, this part's going to be wrong because 300. I have to do 320 minus 96. I'm going to do that down here. 320 minus 96 is um, 4, uh, 1, and then 2, 1, 2, 2. So 224 instead of this 272 here. So 224, and then I subtract 24, and that gives me 200. 
So let's go back and compare that with what we had when we did the problem the other way. And we see here when we did it, we got 190. So we're still not getting the same answer. So somewhere there's a mistake. So let's see if we can find it in this one. So we're going to go back, back, back. And let's keep going back. Um, I think those are right. But let's see. Let's break this up here. So 4 times 8. That looks good. 4 times 6. And 8 times 6 and 16 times 6. I think I'm happy with all of those. But we'll keep going. So the area would be 4 times 8 plus 4 times 6 plus 8 times 6 plus 16 times 6. Did I do all these right? 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 6 is 24. 8 times 6 is 48. And 16 times 6 is 96. And when I add all of those up, I get 6 and 4. That's 10. Oh, I need to carry a 2. So I'm going to go back here. This right here, that should have been a 2. And so that's where my 200 comes in. And so now I can see I got the same answer here that I got when I did the problem the other way.